Welcome to Sweet Red Poppy. If you're new here, I'm Kimberly, and today we're going to be sewing this envelope pillow cover. Now, making an envelope pillow cover is easier than ever with my simple step-by-step -step tutorial. You probably didn't know that you could make an envelope pillow in less than 15 minutes. The best part? You don't even need a zipper. And this project is great for beginners because you just have to sew a straight line. Before we jump into our project, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and go ahead and turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss out on any of my free sewing patterns that are coming out soon. Now let's talk about the supplies that you're going to need for this project. For this tutorial, you'll need the following supplies. One half yard of fabric, pins, thread, a sewing machine, a rotary cutter and mat or scissors, a hemming tool, a point turner, an iron, an acrylic ruler, and a pillow form. Before starting your project, you can go ahead and download the printable instructions and the photo tutorial that goes along with this project. Just go ahead and click on the link that's listed below in the description of this video. I've listed out the most common sized pillow forms along with their corresponding cutting measurements. If you're not sure what size your pillow form is, you can quickly measure your pillow width and height to find out. If you're looking to make a pillow cover for a size that isn't listed, what you'll want to do is cut the front piece of fabric to the same measurement as your pillow form. The back two pieces should be the full width of the form and half of the height with three inches added in to account for the seam allowance and the overlap. Cut the front piece to the exact dimension of the pillow. For example, my pillow form is 14 inches by 14 inches. That's what I'm going to cut out for my front piece. For the back, you're going to need two different pieces of fabric. The width of the fabric will be cut to the same as the pillow form width. For example, 14 inches for me. Then you're going to divide your pillow form height by two. So 14 divided by two is seven. Then you're going to add in an additional three inches, which brings me to 10. I now have two back pieces of fabric that are cut 14 inches wide by 10 inches in height, as well as one front piece that measures 14 inches by 14 inches. Remember to use your own measurements based on your pillow form size. Take one of your back pieces of fabric and fold one long edge under one half inch and press it. Then you're going to fold it under one half inch again and press it in place with plenty of steam. Go ahead and repeat this step on your second piece of fabric as well. Sew along the middle of the fold one fourth inch from the folded edge of the fabric. Go ahead and lay your front pillow cover fabric on a table in front of you with the right side facing upwards. Now I'm going to lay one of my back pieces on top and I'm going to be aligning my raw edges together and you should have your folded edge here in the middle. I'm going to lay my third piece of fabric and you'll see that it overlaps a little bit. We have this little overlap here and that is what we want. Go ahead and pin around the perimeter of your fabric. With a 3 8 inch seam allowance, sew around the entire pillowcase. For this next step, you have two different options. You can finish the raw edges of your fabric with a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine or you can use a serger. Both of these options will prevent the fabric from fraying. I'm going to use my serger just to quickly finish the inside of my pillowcase. You can clip the corners of your pillowcase and that's going to remove any of the bulk that you might find in your seam allowance. Go ahead and turn your pillow cover right side out. You can use a turning tool to push those corners out. It's going to give you a really nice sharp looking corner. Using plenty of steam, iron your entire pillowcase. This is going to give you a really crisp, professional look. You can use your thumb and your pointer finger to just roll your seam allowance outwards along the entire edge of your pillow cover. Insert your pillow form into your pillow cover and enjoy your new pillow. I can't wait to see what you make with this tutorial. Make sure that you join my crafting and sewing Facebook group that I've linked below and share your pillows with us. Don't forget to subscribe to Sweet Red Poppy and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm going to be back next week with another sewing tutorial.